Greetings and welcome to another video with your friend Jen. I'm Jen and today I'll be showing you one of my favorite rituals ever called the pumpkin sacrifice ritual. And yes, it's exactly how it sounds and trust me, it's so much fun. So this is basically a ritual that you can do anytime between Lunasa and Samhain. And for anyone that doesn't practice any of the pagan Sabbaths, that basically means you can do it anytime between, you know, the first leave falling on the ground and between the first snowfall. I've noticed that a lot of people like to do this around Halloween, so that's totally fine. Um, really, I think that this is more of a seasonal ritual, so it doesn't really link up with any holiday or pagan Sabbath. So really, anytime during the harvest season, you can totally do this and it's still gonna be really relevant. The pumpkin sacrifice ritual is a fantastic ritual that you can do to rid yourself of any negativity that you don't wanna carry with you into the winter months. Please note that you will be lighting a pumpkin on fire, so before you try this, get any permissions that you may need from anybody. And of course, please be very careful because you are working with fire, so you know, for obvious reasons, please be careful. <laughs> Guys, look at this mug. I got this mug when um, my girlfriends and I went shopping for some Halloween supplies and decorations and stuff. This was $4. This huge thing was $4. I, yeah, I had to have it. First, you will need a pumpkin, any shape or size will do. An outside fire pit or a safe space to light your pumpkin on fire. Please don't try this indoors, you know, I'm pretty sure that's a given, but I just have to say it anyways. A cutting or carving knife and a bowl to, to put all the seeds in. A lighter, matches, or a lighter fluid, a paper and pen. Now for the cleansing herbs, I change it up every year. This year I felt like working with more fallish type ingredients, so, but in the past I have used like yarrow and dill. Um, I usually use cinnamon, but I'm kind of running low on cinnamon, so I didn't use it this year. Here's what I used in this reenactment. Bay leaf, sage, star anise, cloves, mandrake, mugwort, cedar. I also included a little bit of my incense blend titled Harvest Gathering, which is available on my website if you are interested. And the last thing that you may need is optional. You can get an outside altar if you desire one. First, cast a circle or create a sacred space around your fire pit. You can call upon any deities you wish to help you through this ritual. I honor Hecate and Pan, so I usually summon their energies here. Meditate over the pumpkin with the intention of releasing any negative baggage you've been carrying with you recently. During this meditation, you can ask yourself the following. What have I been holding on to recently that I can let go of? How do I want to face the darker months ahead of me? When you're ready, you can write these thoughts down or do a psychic practice of automatic writing, which is just producing words without consciously writing. You can seal this paper with any sigils, symbols, or spells you desire. For the sake of this video, I didn't seal it with anything since this is just a reenactment. Now here's the fun and creative part of this ritual. Cut into the flesh of the pumpkin. While you're doing this and scooping the seeds out, imagine that you're symbolically pulling out all the guck and junk and negativity from your life. Mm -hmm. 
you're reaching into your thoughts and fears and pulling out the seeds that have been stagnant there. You can get creative here by making jack-o'-lanterns or carving anything you feel is necessary into your pumpkin. Maybe you've recently gone through a breakup and you need to release their name from your life. Whatever it is, spend the time and do this part slowly and safely. Once you're done, give yourself a few moments between this part and the next. Maybe take a few breaths, give yourself a little breather, and just tap into how you're feeling. To help keep your pumpkin burning a little bit longer, you can add any of the following, kindling, wood, or any papers, or something to keep your fire going. Next, you'll be adding the herbs you've chosen into your pumpkin. Envision you're filling the empty spaces you've just cleansed with a light new energy. Tell yourself that you're entering this wintry season with high hopes and happy thoughts. Carefully light your note on fire and stuff into your pumpkin. As the fire catches the herbs, envision the phoenix energies rising from the ashes and flames that you're shedding your summer skin, entering a new phase of your life. Notice that the pumpkin will not burn all the way. When you're done with this ritual, you can take it to a compost or a place to release its energy back into the earth. This is also a moment for you can, to get a little bit creative with this ritual. You can do any chanting, you can do any spell work, or you can do any dancing around your um, fire pit if you so desire. It's completely up to you. This is your ritual. This is just kind of like a foundation idea. Get creative. This is your own craft work, so you can add whatever you'd like to this. This is basically just a foundation, a very basic foundation type of ritual that you can do for the um, harvest season and you can add anything that you want to it, your own signature if you will. When you're done, thank any deities for assisting you and close your circle. Enter this harvest and winter season as a new lighter you. So like I said earlier, you can basically tailor this ritual to any shape or form that you desire or fits into your craft work. Like you can do a tarot reading in between there in any spot that you feel is necessary, or you can turn this ritual into a spell that's significant for you. It's really up to you. You'll notice that most of my spells that I have in the past showed you or in the future going to be showing you that most of them are just foundations, just basic structures where you can build your yourself up into this idea and you can use your own creative craft work and your own ideas into it. There you have it guys, a pumpkin sacrifice ritual. I posted this idea on Instagram a year ago and it was super successful. A lot of people tried it last year and I definitely recommend that you try it this year. So many of you have already showed me your pumpkins and I just think that's so fantastic, so hardcore. Seriously, just keep it coming. So cool. Give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video and if you do decide to do this ritual please tag me in Instagram right here and I look forward to seeing all your burning pumpkins. Have a blessed day and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.